The countdown to the Boston Marathon is on, and today, crews started painting the starting line in Hockenton. Work began about 9 o'clock this morning. It'll go on most of the day. Fun for kids to go watch. One of the marathon's biggest cheerleaders received a special honor after recovering from cancer treatment. Spencer, who is a certified therapy dog, will be back along the race course. And as our Nick Giovanni shows us, the BAA is already pampering the deserving pup. Rolling out the red carpet for one of the marathon's most lovable four-legged stars. A limousine rolled up to the Fairmont Copley Plaza Hotel Wednesday morning and out stepped Spencer, the 12-year-old golden retriever receiving a rock star's welcome, preparing to return to his post along the marathon route where he's made a name for himself, biting down on a Boston strong flag as runners pass by. You are the official dog of the 126th Boston Marathon. I'm, I'm very emotional about this dog. He's extremely special, and, and I'm just glad we, we can share him with so, so many people. Spencer was all smiles alongside his niece, Penny, both certified therapy dogs, as they were greeted by the Fairmont Copley's canine ambassador, Corey, only seven weeks removed from Spencer going through his last round of chemotherapy after having a cancerous tumor removed in December. And then when he got sick, people were afraid he wouldn't make it again. And I, the past two marathons, this one included, you know, it was, it was really unlikely that he would make, but he's, it's a miracle. He's, he's a miracle boy. He's, a, he's an inspiration for a lot of people that, you know, you can do. Resilient like a marathoner, Spencer was celebrated in the hotel's lobby after making a new furry friend, presented with gifts from the Fairmont Copley and BAA, like this personalized race bib and a goodie bag donated by Boston Barkery in honor of his dedication to supporting athletes along their 26.2 mile quest. One his humans say they hope he'll be a part of once again this year in his usual spot near Ashland State Park. The odds are as high as before he had cancer. The same judgment call of, on whether he's gonna go is the same one I've had since 2014. It can't be too hot and he has to be feeling good. And that's the same, same, it's all about him. This was also a celebration of the news. Spencer's cancer is now in remission. We're told he won't need another checkup until July. Reporting in Boston, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.